What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Zerg Cheese 2 Grandmaster, or at this point, I should probably be renaming this series to Zerg Cheese 2 Rank 1, as we are pretty deep into Grandmaster already. In the last episode, we absolutely popped off with some spine crawler rushes. Might be trying to improve them some more, or are we going to do some more link drops? Let's find out. All right, first game of the day is against a Terran player. Dude, I almost got tricked right away just by the portrait. That's one of my weaknesses. I've been trying to work on that, you know. It's funny because uh, I'm doing the practicing for the half a billion dollar tournament series and i'm working on my weaknesses but that has been my true ladder weakness people using portraits of the race they do not play now we are wait what are you now yeah he's tearing dude I, I swear i was about to do a zvz build anyway you know what i think i want to open with a spine crawler rush um we did let's see the last episode i'm pretty sure we did it twice against protoss and it looked pretty strong albeit you know our opponents did make some sizable mistakes to say the least but against Terran is where I initially fell in love with this build, so I'm going to try it. It's going to be a great opener. I do wonder how it would stack up against a counter cheese. Have we ever done a spine crawler rush against someone like, let's say, proxy four rack scales or something? Now, there are some differences in the build against Terran, so I do have to show you guys those. Um, against Terran, you have to build the hatchery in the natural, first of all. Because I, your, your goal is to spine crawler rush this, right? As a Protoss player, you always wall this against Zerg. Uh, so you kind of make the hatchery over here. But against Terran, you do have to build it here. Now, against Terran, it's a little scarier because... I think... I'm not sure what video I talked about this in. But against Protoss, the reason why I don't like proxy hatches as much as like the Ling Drop, for example. Is that sometimes you can't execute the idea you had. Because Protoss players very often pull the workers to attack the hatchery. Terran players do not do that very often at all, but sometimes they do. So if you're in a situation like this where I want to go for a spine crawler rush, if this will be like, let's say the 5 to 10% of games where the Terran player does pull the SVs to kill the hatchery, then that would be quite annoying. Now, by the way, I, I really do like the counter. Uh, should I? Oh, I should have sent those out before. Okay, that's a little bit of a mistake by me. Maybe I'll just pretend that I'm going to mine from the gold base or something. Oh, no, actually, we can get out in time if I go out on top here. I believe. Please. Don't see me. Don't look. No, he didn't see it, right, guys? <laughs> it might be on Kofi over here. No, it's fine, though. I, I genuinely don't think it really matters that much because he's going to see that... Oh, I do need to avoid the Reaper, though. I saw a very scary Reaper coming across there uh, on the minimap. But yeah, my, my, my drones were sent out too late. Like these Oh, my God, I even found him. Wait, now, now he's going to find my drones? Well, I, dude, I swear I'm going to have to take these gases or something. I think I'm going to have to take these gases so my drones don't die. This is... Okay, now it does actually matter. Let's see. Well, he's not here yet, surprisingly, I have to say. Oh, he's... Okay, attacking my drones. That is quite interesting. I mean, I'm just going to put down two spine crawlers there right now. Uh, I'm very... Uh, I think I'll just make a queen at home, actually. I don't think that's a crazy idea. I'll just go for a queen at home. Uh, I did kill a... SCV there, I suppose. Wait, maybe he's not paying attention. Oh, the Ling Micro, the Surround. Oh my god, I almost got that too. That would have been freaking brutal. Okay, so now I'm going to start this. I'm a little puzzled as what to what I should do now because making mass links doesn't really feel like the answer in these scenarios. Like, he's going to get a Cyclone out pretty soon. I mean, the last player we did this against, I feel like, made a Hellion, which was pretty funny. I guess, I guess I'll just bother this Reaper again. I feel like it's all just really good distraction, to be honest. Oh, both of them are going to be able to shoot. That's great. I was kind of worried for a second that only one of these was going to be able to shoot. So, let's see. Zerking speed is going to finish. Can I hit that one with both? Okay, not with that one. So I'm going to move that one a little over. Zerkling speed is about to finish. And that means I'm going to be able to absolutely dunk on the Cyclone. I'll just move this back momentarily. There we go. Now, this is the be the best thing about me for going up against the Cyclone. Is that its range now is very small. You see, I should probably be trying to target some of these SEVs, right? I do think... <coughs> excuse me. I do think I'm doing a very significant amount of damage anyway. Dude, I'm about to have a transfuse. If I'm... Okay... Please, can we transfuse? Hey, there we go. We got a little bit of a transfuse. It's going to buy us some more time. Yeah, maybe going for the expansion here is the best idea. Since he has the two Cyclones already. I'm actually quite curious how this is going to turn out. Like, I should probably start uh, mining from this natural as well. How many links do I need to kill a Reaper? Probably just one set is going to be enough. Yeah, I, wait, why is my overword here? It, it's so funny that neither of us noticed this. 
He could have killed that ages ago, and I could have floated away ages ago. That's actually pretty funny. Okay, so he has the one Reaper still across the map. Kind of thought it might have been coming back by now, but it's still there. Uh, yeah, now he noticed. Guess I'll just use the opportunity to uh, attack. No, actually, there's too many Marines there, right? Yeah. It's kind of funny how he didn't make the reactor. And it kind of allowed him to get, like, a low Marine count pretty fast. But from this point on, it's really going to dwindle. Like, his Marine count is going to be pretty small. Uh, this costs a lot, by the way. Like, he's spending a lot of money repairing that. Well, he could be doing other stuff with that. Now, maybe I should be trying to... Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to mine out one of these minerals so I can check the other side, pretty much, more than anything else. Not even sure if I really... You know, if there's going to be something there. But it's just going to be smart for me to check the other side of the map on this map. Uh, now, let's see. Should I go for the lair? I feel like a lair would be a good idea. Like, this could be Banshees. Now, here is when the downside of the Cyclone is really going to show, guys, because... Uh, like, normally the Cyclone would be a little stronger. He would be able to move out a little faster. But here, I mean, okay, so he has a tank now. Here, if he wanted to move out with the Cyclones, he's still not going to be having a... Do you guys see that Zergling just move forward for, for absolutely no reason? Did, was that crazy or is it, is it just me that thinks that was crazy? Okay, I like... Oh, it's a good thing I still have the Queen here, of course. You can try to damage the Overlords. Guess now is the good time to bring these back. I'm not going to lose the Creep Tumor, luckily. I mean, his entire base is going to be freaking covered in Creep at some point, guys. And obviously, as per usual, I am doing my best job at Creep spreading from the opponent's base. I do feel like my camera hot keys are a bit messed up somehow. And I definitely want to get some more... Uh, what's it called? Some more Queens at home. I feel like if I get more Queens, I'm going to be able to survive just fine. Let me transfuse that for a sec. I'm gonna try to put my links in a better position as well. I mean, the creep is looking really good here, I have to say. Like, keep in mind... No, where the hell are you going, you silly goose queen? They shouldn't be called queen. They should be called geese instead. Like, what the... I can't believe he landed that. Oh, my God. Yo, this guy is kind of badass. You guys saw that? He freaking landed the Viking over there. I could have just attacked that with the Zergling. No, I wasn't paying attention, so well done. Guess we'll go for a little bit of a scout. He's still trying to attack my overlords, and... I mean, realistically, he's doing more than trying. Like, he's doing a fantastic job at it. Let's see if I can do some more damage on that Viking over here. This is going to take some more damage. I mean, it's not like I necessarily needed those queens right away. So, I guess that is nice. Just going to keep making... Uh, maybe I should... I could totally kill these Cyclones, by the way. So, I think it's a good idea if I go for it, even with the tank. Yeah, exactly. Now, now you guys could see what I was talking about, that they are super flimsy. Like, they really are. Like, they don't pack a punch at all like they do little damage and they die very fast the thing is you can make them a lot faster now what am i gonna do i guess i'll go for double evo over here my opponent has a banshee which is not really gonna add that much value i mean it's gonna be able to kill the queen on the other side of the map but that is really about it now i'm very tempted to go for the spire i'm not quite sure if i like the idea but no, actually, I think it's okay. I mean, am I going to get attacked with all this creep on the map? Probably not. If he does attack me, I would see it coming a long time in advance. If he lands this, I'm going to be able to kill that. Doesn't look like he will, though. Yo, I didn't realize how much of that I... Oh, here we go, please. Oh, no. Yeah, 7 HP. That was so freaking close. I don't have enough larvae yet. Let's get plus one started. And then I'm going to... Wait. Did I mine that out all the way? Oh, my God. I mined out these minerals all the way to my own... Free... Please stop going across... I'm going to go crazy if my overlords keep going across. It's just... I know it's a typical mark move at this point, but they, they have to stop, okay? These things need to get a freaking grip. Let's see. More and more creep spread. It's really funny. I feel like I'm I'm connecting my own... Or connecting his base to mine instead of the other way around, which just looks really silly. I do think with what I've seen from him so far, how slow he's taking is natural. It feels like we're in a, <clears throat> in a fantastic spot, but... I don't know. I I haven't really killed any SEVs, right? Like, I think I killed a few, but not really that many. Guy, he is wasting so many scans on clearing this creep. It's it's kind of painful, really. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Terran player at heart. Well, realistically, I'm switching more and more to being a Zerg player, but you guys know what I mean. I used to be a Terran player, and he's spending so much money on scans. I know how expensive that is, guy. It is so freaking expensive to scan all the freaking time. Oh, he does have a good amount of Hellions. Well... Guess I'll just not send those over there yet then. I could probably get a really good bait going. He's gonna... S oh, he has blue flame now. Huh. Wait, huh? He made two factories? Or did he just do that all with one factory? I'm not even sure. No, oh, I guess I'll have to make an overshare. I mean, it's not really a big deal, of course, but... Okay, so he's... Another scan? 
Like, I really hope this guy is like freaking five orbitals chilling in his main base because otherwise I, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Okay, wait. Guys, I still have this queen. I can start spreading creep again over here. Okay, now he's going to see the muta. He's probably not going to be very happy, to be honest. But he does have it in him to make cyclones, right? Like, he has probably two factories. It could be one, but I think probably two. So I guess we'll see. Uh, one more drone over here. Yeah, he's going to be able to kill my queen. Well, not quite sure if that's worth it. Honestly, he's going to lose a couple more Hellions for that. Okay, he does have a good amount of Cyclones, exactly, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I think we're actually completely fine. It's just there's a little bit of an awkward moment where I spend, you know, getting my setup ready to make all these Zerglings and then my opponent's playing freaking Blue Flame Hellions. Still think it's going to be completely fine, though, but it is, it is just a little awkward. Now, let me just start spreading creep at the home. Dude, look how much creep there is still on the map, by the way. I'm going to connect my own base still, just in like a different way, I suppose. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he's going he's to spam cyclones like crazy. I'll just make sure to kill this one. Oh, no, never mind. I'm not going <laughs> to try and kill that one. Yeah, I, I, th I think the right move to do here is just to spam a lot of roaches. Maybe I'll go for like an infestation pit as well. There's still creeper, so he still can't got it. I, it actually kind of hurts, right? He, st he can't even take his third base yet, guys. It's been so freaking long and it's still just is that another scan. It is another scan. It's probably going to keep scanning here. I mean, at this point, I feel like I kind of know it. Why are you guys going across? I, I swear, my Zerg units, guys, they always just go across. I, I really am not trying to do those things, but they just, it just always happens for some reason. Okay, let's start getting some uh, range upgrades as well. I do like the idea of getting Burrow. I mean, we had a pretty decent amount of success when we played against Hero Marines account with the... Um, burrowed zerglings i mean it didn't look like the best strategy ever because it was kind of hard to keep track of it but it was still pretty strong okay yeah, yeah it looks like he's preparing for mass mutas right i kind of like seeing that because i wasn't really making mutas already anyway um and i guess it wouldn't even be a good idea if i wanted to so this way i can discourage my own silly creativity i think that's probably the nicest way i could have put that right i, I can discourage my own silly creativity by uh, seeing how many turrets he's actually building. Oh, guys. I Wait, have I ever played Tunneling Claws before for you? I don't think I have. But it is a really cool strategy. I, I really don't think I have played Tunneling Claws before for you guys. So that is uh, going to be really cool to try. Now, what do I... I, I feel like I want to go for Neural. I also wouldn't mind going for Brute Lord. That's another unit I don't think you guys have ever seen me build. I know for a fact I've built it at least once on the channel. But uh, I'm not quite sure how often. Uh, I, 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 think it's, I think it's been once. I really think I've done it like once. Okay, let's see if he's going to come back for these. I um, guess I will start Neural right away because why not? I'm going to start a Hive as well. Man, this is feeling like uh, another part of the ev my evolution, you know? Trying to play, well, yeah, I wouldn't call it normal, but just a little more normal than usual. I see, let's spread a little more creep. I, I do think creep is not going to be as effective against these mass cyclone styles just because he's going to have a lot of map control and he'll be able to clear it all the time. But I did. I wonder if you guys can calculate how many uh, minerals he has wasted on scans. Like you basically have to calculate that every scan he did is not a mule, right? So how much money has he basically wasted by scanning? I'm not even going to try to kill the turret. I just want to get rid of these Mutas for SCVs because... Um, I like how he's repairing it anyway. I mean, I'm clearly not going to be able to kill that turret with four Mutas, but uh, it would be good for me to have the supply. Okay, I'm going to start a bunch of investors. I wonder... Wait. I'm just going to go for it, guys. Here we go. Tunneling Claws is ready on the roaches. I don't have... Wait, he's, he's going to scan. No, 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 no. He's going to scan. I can see it coming. He's going to scan right here for only. Okay. Okay, he scans there. That's interesting. I'm going to come in from behind here, guys. Check this out. All right, here we go. Yes. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. Straight in the Cyclops. He's not going to be able to run away. Oh, my God. That was actually a beautiful move. I can't believe going for Tunnelly Claws paid off so heavily. He's got to lose every freaking Cyclone here pretty much, guys. Look at that. guess I'll let a couple live as like a, a token of me being nice. I mean, I do also have my investors coming up. I am still pretty bad. Guys, do, did you know that at some point the Unburrow and Burrow were in the same hotkey? Well, then they changed it. And you can't really change it back without messing with the file. So now it feels really weird for me. Like, I want to unburrow with the same hotkey that I that I burrow with, but it just it doesn't work. And it's 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 weird. Like, that's why I've been just mishotkeying all the time. Okay, I think... Let's see if I can find his army with this. 
God, it would be so used. Like, cyclos are, you know, they have their value. Yeah, he's going to make turrets. Exactly. Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. <laughs> yes. It's all going to get one shot. I don't even need the freaking infest. He's just tunneling close. Roaches did the trick. And oh, my goodness. I feel like this was just an evolution of the link drop strategy. Instead of just going for mass links against mass heli and cyclone, which is a little silly. I went for the Roaches, which is the right response to mech in general. You can make Ravagers against tanks. If you're ever wondering about that, why would you make Roaches against mech? Is because you can make Ravagers when the Roach supply becomes useless. And Ravagers are really, really good against mech with the Biles. They can never move across. But anyway, I got Tunneling Claws and I just found a way to burrow under the Cyclones. And truth be told, if you get on top of the Cyclones with your burrow Roaches, they are freaking useless. Like you could see this last trade, like these units... Let's say I don't burrow. I mean, he didn't have that many units, right? I think it was seven Cyclones. If I don't burrow on top here, these seven Cyclones kill seven Roaches, and then I probably get on top and I kill them. But if it's 20, they will kill 20 Roaches out of these. What is this? This is about 35 or something. They kill 20 out of those, or at least like 10, 15. And then my Roach Ball is not as impressive. But if you burrow on top, all the Cyclones just freaking implode. This was a beautiful play. Beautiful warm-up game. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two is against GG Machine. Wait, I think this is the young Zerg player, right? I could be confusing him, but I think this is one of those, like, freaking 14-year-old super talents or something. Well, you know, it's pretty funny because whenever there is a, a really young player, like a 13-year-old Grandmaster, people will keep calling them a 13-year-old for, like, five years. Even if they're 18, they're still the 13-year-old. So maybe this guy is also 18, but in my head, he was, he, he was, he was very young. He was an up-and-coming talent, so all that matters. Always cool to see. Um, I always forget if I type good luck or fun back or not. Now, I wanted to share uh, some ideas with you guys. The problem is that I forgot half of the idea. Let me think here for a second. Um, so, I was thinking that maybe soon-ish, the Zerg Cheese 2 Grandmaster series would end. But I kind of want to keep going with it in some capacity. Um, I had a couple ideas. I, yeah, like I said, I forgot the second half of the idea. So, I'll just share the first one with you guys. I think... A lot of you guys have asked for it many times, but I think we're finally at the point where doing like a random two rank one series could be very, very cool. Especially, uh, you know, when I go back to the NA server in a couple weeks, because then I will have probably a realistic shot at actually becoming rank one with random. So I think that'd be pretty awesome, but it doesn't matter what server we're on. I feel like that would be a very cool idea. The only downside that I personally saw, and I'm going to have, uh, you know, need you guys to give me your feedback on that, is that... I thought that there is a group of people that only click on Zerg videos, for example, or a group of people that only click on Terran videos, Protoss videos, etc. And I feel like if I put a random video, um, it would be a little hard to make like the clickbait and stuff, because usually I just put like the most co the epic cool thing that happened in the thumbnail. You guys like that. So if I put like, this is the best Zerg cheese of my life ever invented since 1963. Well, then there's also a Terran and Protoss game in the video. I feel like the Terran and Protoss viewers might miss out on that, right? So that's that's one thing I was worried about. Oh, it looks like we're getting it. That is three Zerglings. Why is there three? Not four, not six, not two. Why is there three Zerglings? So that was one idea that I had anyway. Um, wait, is he... Is he doing a seventh? He's playing like me. His hatch well, hatchery was like a little bit, a little bit faster, like ever so slightly faster. Wait, what is his build then? I mean, I don't know. This is this is this is pretty weird. I mean, it seems like it's gonna be pretty decent for me because I'll be able to defend it relatively easily. Now, as soon as I remember what the other idea was, I'll I'll get back to you guys with it. Okay, I promise. It's just I don't quite remember right now. So okay, I'm just gonna be spamming links like crazy. My speed is well. I I can't predict if it's gonna finish faster than his. I'm gonna get a pretty decent trade here initially, so that's nice. I think I am allowed to make a couple more drones. Okay, let's get these overlords back over here. Yeah, we might be in another difficult situation where the opponent is not necessarily doing a build where he would wall off against a link flood. And that might... I think we had it in the last episode as well where we lost the ZVZ because they just make their own links and bailings instead. Oh, wait. That is a lot of queens, actually, guys. That is a significant amount of queens. All right. I do like seeing that. Because queen, like mass queens usually means that they're going to be playing gasless. Let's see what I can find over here. Okay, he's going to try walling it off now. 
Um, I'm gonna get all these links over here. Is this enough work links? Uh, yeah, it is enough work links. Okay, I was, I was doubting myself there for a second. Now, I do want to follow this up into a spire. My opponent is walling off. Okay, guys, is it time for the link drop to shine again? This is a 5.6k Zerg we're playing against, by the way, guys. This is uh, definitely gonna be a very cool mover against such a high-level player. Let's see. Uh, we can also, like, scout immediately what, is, what he's doing, so that's gonna be really nice. Here we go. Look at this. He never expected it. Look how many drones are already falling, man. This play is so freaking cool against the wall off. I freaking love this. Now, I do have two links that I can use to run it to the... Oh, no, he's still walling it off. He's making a spine, too. I think we can fight those Zerglings, actually, guys. And then I'll fight the drones as well. I feel like we can kill a couple more drones here. Not quite sure if that was super worth it in the end, but definitely the first attack was really good. And my opponent is still making a freaking spine crawler, guys. So, let's see. I think I'm, I want to fake this a decent amount, so I'm going to go with the... Uh, yeah, the double Evo Roach War. I mean, it might be obvious enough that I'm going to go for Mutas here. I mean, this is a high-level Zerg player. A better Zerg player than me. At least when it comes to, you know, the strategy of playing Zerg properly. I guess I guess that is a good way to put it, right? So, I imagine he's going to have a decent read on this. Especially if he would see these gases. Now, I don't have that many drones yet. I also don't have an Overlord in position to scout for a counter Link Flood. Oh, no, this Zerg Link's barely going to lose. That is quite unfortunate. I guess I'll just uh, go for a little bit of a... Yeah, that is not a great changeling positioning. Or maybe it's the best changeling positioning. Who knows? Here we go. Is he, he going to see that? He's only making a lair just now, guys. That is a very late lair compared to mine. He has the Roach Warren. Uh, let's see, how many drones do I need? I need 45 drones. There we go. So I'm going to make a couple more. Like it, it feels like we're just like significantly ahead compared to him. I, wait... How did... Did I just let him in with... No, that is... That sucks. Oh, my goodness. Did he just go in via that gap that I left to, like, quickly inject my hatchery? Or is there another gap over here? I'm not even quite sure. Well, he's going to make an overseer anyway, but definitely feels like we're in a good position. Guys, I have to admit something silly. I am incredibly tempted to make corruptors right now. Someone has to... Okay, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay, you guys stopped me just in time. He looked like he made roaches as well, which is quite nice to see. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go for the third base here. So he's going to see that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a strategy that I don't exactly know how to execute, but a strategy that I really liked seeing whenever Pro Zergs did it. And that is to kind of go for just one round of Mutalisks. That's the wrong upgrade. One round of Mutalisk and then drone up the third base and then go for a big Roach timing. I feel like I always really liked it when I saw Pro Zergs do it. i been meaning to try and learn that build but learning builds you know without doing something absolutely absurd is not usually my thing anymore oh i, I can kill those queens i think i have more than enough uh, mutas here guys he's being a little bit too confident can i click that one away oh barely not in time let's see he's not spreading his fire properly right now no oh, it seems like might have underestimated the queens a little bit there guys that that's my bad he has a spore crawler i'm still gonna try and do some damage though Let's see what I can do here. But yeah, I guess since they had so many transfusions because they were built earlier from a gasless opening, I should have respected them a little more. Let's see. Okay, so he's just making drones. That is, that is actually a very good scout, seeing that he's making drones. I'm gonna go for one more gas. I tried to make one queen earlier, but I guess it didn't really work. Uh, maybe I didn't have money, or maybe it just happened in my imagination. Very possible. Now, there's one roach coming across. I have 63... Dro oh no, I have 62 drones. I want 63, so I'm going to make one more. He is going to scout how many drones I have with this one, so I want to deny it. Here we go. He is going to see that there's a third base, but he's not going to see if there's drones on that, so that's really nice. He's doing a really good job with the queens, by the way. Like, you can definitely tell that we're playing against an extremely capable Zerg player, because... I mean, he, he knew exactly how, that he could fight the Mutas, right? He knows when he can go out to hunt the queens. Like It definitely feels like we are playing against a good opponent here. I am quite tempted to go for tunneling close again. Oh, that spore is out of position. Okay, that's great. Here we go. Finally, a little bit more damage. Um, I I'm tempted to go for tunneling close, but obviously he already has spores in place. Oh, that Hydra died a little slower than I would have expected. I mean, one for one, I guess it's not all bad. It, it does feel like he's expecting me to just go for pure mass mutas, right? Because the Hydras as well. I mean, I'm going to hit an absolute Roach Hammer here. He's going to see that I'm hitting an absolute Roach Hammer now. He also sees that I'm missing that final gas. I wonder if that's going to be a good amount of intel for him. Now, I'm going to start 2-2. I'm not quite sure if I want to start 2-2, actually. Okay, I, th I think I'm just going to go across the map. Let's see what I can achieve with this army. The thing is, I feel like if you're... 
not good enough. Um, how would I put this? Like, I'm not good enough strategically with Zerg to make reads by every, like, drone count and stuff like that. It is a good idea to just go out there and try to scout everything by attacking, right? Okay, I'm just going to pull these roaches back. He has plus one attack, which is slightly worse than me. So that is also something I need to keep in mind. Now, I definitely do not want to end up in the lurker stage, guys. That's something that's for sure. I really do not want to end up playing a mass lurker against lurker game or whatever. So that's what I'm going to be trying to avoid here. I think a couple of ravagers would be quite nice. Yeah, let's make a couple of ravagers here. There we go. Uh, do I need to make more? I guess I could make more gases if I want more ravagers i guess that makes sense let's see i'll just attack this gas again okay he does see me over here oh that army is slightly out of position guys this looks really good for us there we go now we're going to be able to run into the third and get a decent amount of damage looks like he pulled the queens back which is really nice here we go oh he doesn't want to fight this guy yo those biles are doing very very well for me let's see can I get one more i still have one ravager he has to pull back every time there's a bile that's why this is going to be a decent fight you see the micro is so freaking hard for him because like he has the hydras he's just going to try to pull through he has to kite all the time the biles are forcing him to move so much which is just fantastic and now i'm going to pull back momentarily try to resaturate this gas i also have a fourth base which oh i need to be careful to not lose my stuff here I feel like as long as I trade the roaches but don't lose the ravagers, it is going to be a good trade, right? I guess this is the new era of me playing Zur, guys. I'm playing kind of like a human. Like, not entirely, but we're, we're getting there. Like, the bios are so annoying. Oh my god, dude, I should really make more ravagers. Like, this is just fantastic. I think targeting the hydras would have been a good idea too here here we go more roaches coming in he has a couple more hydras left but his glass cannon stuff is basically gone let's have a couple bios on the queens i do want to make sure that i don't uh lose the ravagers like i mentioned before that would be the toughest thing that can happen to me how's my 2-2 looking my 2-2 did finish already i i want to guess i didn't check but i want to guess that he has 2-1 I, th I think that's a reasonable get. Yeah, he does have 2-1. Exactly, okay. And see, Bile is not going to land. But uh, once again, I have enough to just keep throwing them out there. The Biles are landing on the Queens, which is beautiful. There we go. Going to move the Ravagers back a little bit. And here is the Roach reinforcements, guys. And we are going to be able to take down this 5-6 Zerg player. Very, very nice. Okay, I mean, this... Honestly, guys... This is probably the most normal Zerg game I've ever played. I mean, the Ling drop is crazy. But if you think about it, it is a good strategy. I think if I was a pro Zork player, the Ling drop is actually a strategy I would think about. I would prepare it for a tournament because some people, let's say I just know they always like to go for the two base wall off. Then the Ling drop, I mean, it was a good strategy. It put me ahead. Like there's no other way to put it. Like that build put me ahead against a really good Grandmaster Zerg. And then this follow up after seems pretty strong as well. Now I do have to say, I kind of doubt my opponent's Hydra count. Like he was super good with the Queens. My mutas were underwhelming. His micro was fine, but he did make a lot of hydras, which I don't think you really want to have that many, but I could be wrong. Maybe the next time when I see that, I could try to go for roach bailing. That is another strategy you don't see very often, but it's very, very cool. Anyway, the games are fantastic so far. Let's just keep it going. Right, game number three is against another Zerg player. Almost the same MMR as me, so it should be a very good match here. Now, I don't actually... Oh, guys, okay. You guys might not like that I'm going to do this. Uh, well, no, you guys probably would. So a while ago, I showed you guys a build that didn't really work out very well. Like it wasn't awful. We were a bit unlucky and stuff, but it didn't work out very well, which was the super fast um, plus one burrow roach attack. Okay, but I think I found a way to make it a little better. So I want to try it again. So here we go. It, it might not be the best map for it, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go for this opener. Uh, I'm pretty sure, by the way, just to warn all you Zergs out there, like I know you guys would love to copy my strategies and stuff. Uh, and for the most part, that is that is absolutely awesome. But I think objectively, if you would do the math on this build in a ZVZ, I do think you put yourself a little behind. So the only reason I'm going to do this is because I like the flow that it has with my very specific plus one Burrow Roach attack. But I think I played one game against Lambo, who is a pro Zerg player. And I mean, obviously, he's way better than my Zerg, right? But I kind of looked at the unit graph and stuff, and it looks like you're just really far behind just from playing against the normal hatch first. It, it's, it's great against pool first, though. I think if you play against cheesers... Like, you play against 12 foolers, this build is freaking fantastic. Like, that might be the hardest possible counter you can have. So, if you play against a lot of 12 pool, or you want to do my Burrow Roach timing, 
or both, then this build is great. If you want to play some macro ZVZs, then it's probably probably not not going to be your best bet. So just just putting it out there. Now I did remember what my second idea was, by the way, and. I think I've already shared it before, but the second idea besides doing random to rank one is to uh, do the spinning wheel thing. So the spinning wheel I have on stream, some of you probably will have seen it already. I just have a spinning wheel with like all my challenges on it. I thought I could just spin them a couple of times for an episode. We'll have probably, I think it's majority Terran challenges on there, but I could also modify it so it has a little bit more equal of all. Um, and yeah, then I would just do a spinning wheel and have like different challenges. So one episode could be like a Sky Terran challenge, a Zerg Cheese game, and uh, what else is there? A Penguin Brothers or, or something like that, right? So that was the other idea that I had. And and just to clarify once again, you guys know me, random to rank one would not be, you know, the ch as tired of a series as it sounds like. I would try to climb an MMR, but I would still play like... Well, yeah, I don't want to be kind to myself, but like a, li a little bit like a like an ape, right? Let's put it that way, like a little bit like a, a little special. Let's put it that way. A little weird. So uh, you guys don't have to worry about that. Now I'm making my evolution chamber. Yeah, the problem here, I saw four links. It's not really a big deal normally, but I don't want those links to see my roach warren. So I, yeah, I think I'm going to put the roach warren back here. I think I have the exact amount of drones that I want. Oh, wait. There's another part to this strategy that I haven't really worked out yet, but I really liked. So I'm going to get Burrow now. And one thing I learned is that you, you don't really need uh, a lot of injects with this. Because this has already has four larvae, this already has five. You can't afford that many. So you can actually spread creep with this opening as well. So the biggest difference is that I'm just doing this attack way faster. And this evolution chamber was slightly delayed. I really think you want to start your plus one attack like quite literally as soon as you have the money, like instantly. And let's just move out with these queens a little bit, try to do a little bit of damage if I can. I do see an overlord there that I would love to kill. And now I can just make eight roaches at once. Uh, he does have speed. Wait, did I see something on the... Why does he have speed? Oh, no, it's not that fast, actually. It's not that, that my build is a little crazy. Okay, let's just make sure to catch the zerglings without him seeing uh, that I have roaches on the way. Uh, and now I just have like this little squad over here of queens. I'm going to be spreading creep. Let's see if I can damage the overlord or hunt it away. Yeah, you can tell he's already sending more, more links across the map. I'm making a couple more overlords. But I don't really need injects with this, which is so crazy. And now I'm going to have roaches with plus one and burrow. Once again, the plus one is going to be a little late here because of my bad. I should probably micro these a little better. I don't usually micro the queens, to be honest, but it goes a lot easier if you do it like this. LSD. So he's making a lot of spines, it looks like. Um, which I, I suppose makes a lot of sense. I don't know why one of them is on the outside, to be fair. But I, I guess it is what it is. Now, let's see. I'm going to be able to kill that one. And then, okay, he does have his own roaches already. That could be a little tough. Now, I just need to make sure I do the burrow micro correctly. Okay, there we go. I already got a burrow on a couple of these roaches. That one needs to burrow as well. Like, roaches wheel really fast when they're burrowed, by the way, if you guys didn't know. That's why the burrow strategy is so good. Like, these roaches are going to heal up super fast. And now I'm going to be able to kill um, his roach war, which is going to be really nice. I got my queens coming across. Can I one tap that queen? I would love to kill that queen. Let's see, okay, I can't yet. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, ro like I said, roaches heal really fast when they're burrowed. So it's just really good to have, uh, you know, burrow for them. Okay, I'm going to target one. Let's see how good the burrow micro is going to be. Okay, the burrow micro so far is really good, to be honest. He's going to make an overseer now. And then I'm going to make the opportunity to jump on it. Here we go. Look how many roaches I have with plus one. He doesn't even have a roach ward anymore. Guys, this build, I'm telling you, it is really not bad. I think I figured out the exact way how to do it. The only mistake I made was that I made my Evo Chamber too late. Because plus one should be finished a little faster. Why plus one is so important is because I'm I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you two-shot links instead of one. Uh, instead of three. Sorry, that would be very silly. Imagine one-shotting Zerglings with roaches. No, you two-shot them instead of three. So if your opponent goes for a lot of Zerglings, plus one roaches are going to be way stronger. But look at this timing, guys. I have 18 roaches already with Burrow. So I can micro them all the time. They will just heal up non-stop. Like, who the hell is going to make a freaking overshare? I mean, at some point, this build might become meta. And then they are going to make an overshare or a freaking spore or whatever. But I really think I figured it out, guys. This version of the build is freaking good i'm gonna keep trying it so i don't fool you guys but this is awesome and i think this is a perfect ender for this episode absolutely awesome episode we're almost 5.5k with the zerg cheeses which is absolutely awesome hope you guys had a fantastic time as well let me know in the comments which of those future challenges you would prefer if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all for the next one adios